Well, hurry everyone, welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with... Peace and mighty Lieutenant Rakir at your service. <laughs> and welcome back to Dave the Diver for our 22nd stream of this game. <laughs> So, yeah, we've been busy with this game for quite a bit, and with luck, we should be getting access to the Dredge Crossover DLC this evening in-game. So, let's go see about that. <laughs> because last time, well, things got a bit foggy. Oh, right, yeah. and <laughs> we, still need to, we still need to figure out how to capture that stupid iron silver trigger fish. Yeah, and we have apparently something on the farm. We should really probably take care of our harvest before we dive. Okay. Yeah. And maybe I hire don't... Sammy for a few days. Yeah. I, especially we can, we can actually afford that now. Yeah, uh, yeah I was okay. just most of these weird things gonna come out more at night, maybe? Or they come out earlier now. What the heck? Yeah, they'll, they'll probably be mostly nocturnal, but we'll see. Since we could, when we've streamed dredge, we could find plenty of uh, aberrated fish during the day as well. Okay, now that everything is cleared up, let's put down some of these peppers, since we definitely don't have them in stock. And yeah, I did look up who the best staff are. I just need to find the note that I wrote yeah, right here on top of the notebook. Yeah, I, I keep losing track of my notes, so I keep trying to compile them by tearing out the pages and putting them together, but then, well, they eventually get lost from each other anyways. Uh. Okay. Now, both fields are high on nutrition, so let's see, do we have any of the... Yep, we have the harvest up compost or with the fertilizer so may as well try and get as much as we can out of all of this okay Otto has something yeah let's see oh so you had some info about blue holes today my friend uh, yeah uh, apparently blue holes uh, <clears throat> uh, apparently things about the blue hole aren't that odd well the fact that it keeps shifting around is odd <laughs> But apparently, they are known to have both uh, salt and uh, sweet water in them. It, but it's kept in layers, <clears throat> in separate layers that do not interact much or do not mix much. And apparently, some of them can be caused by meteor yeah, impacts or such. Yeah, they're all sinkholes, that's why they're called blue holes. Yeah, they're deep, but not many have been able to into them deeply, if I remember right. Yeah, probably because, well, the, the switch from salt to uh, the sweet from sweet, yeah, the switch from one type of water to the other can be quite difficult to get through. It forms a sort of barrier between. Yeah. Okay, let's hire you for a week. This is probably why there are so many gosh. Ghost and monster stories about them, and well, fisherman tales, of course. Okay, right. we'll need to give him seeds, so let's give him bean guard. Let, let's give him everything, and we'll see what he gets up to. The fertilizers, hello, uh, a pizza. Yep. Uh, hello, I'm pizza. Well. Uh, harvest up. Yeah, let's just let him use everything, and we'll see how that happens. I think he's asking you as well, Hill. Uh, doing pretty well. And you, Pizza? Yeah. Okay, that so opened up you? a new manage bit. Ew, this thing is very low on food. Okay. Since we can afford it, we'll stock it up with the high quality feeds. Okay. Let's see. Head hurts a little, but I'm fine. Still not doing great mentally. Yeah, it can't be really. Yeah. People can't really be expected to be recovering from, uh, yeah, something like that too quickly. Yeah. Again, virtual hugs for you. Yeah. There was 308 meat on that, but yeah, you're you're always free to come join us with the insanity that we get up to here. 178. Nope. 
Yeah. Uh, let's see, I should probably update what I do have breeding pairs on. Since we got a few last time, but I'll just do that on my own. Yep, prioritize three stars. Uh, let's see, yeah, I did wake up like two minutes ago. Okay, yeah. <laughs> there. And there. Okay. Oh no! Hmm? What? I had to swallow that first. I just realized something horrible. I don't know why I didn't think of this earlier. Ooh. Do you remember what happened to the fish salesman, the fishmonger in Dredge, when he apparently ate the aberrant fish? Yep, they uh, went a bit zombie-like. The concern directly says, who loves to experiment with new things to cook? Boncho, yeah, so we'll just have to see if we cause a zombie apocalypse or not. Also, Worse. just to be sure, I'm I'm googling up how to catch that damn silverfish. It's a uh, shark paralysis. Shark is the one that shoots lightning. Got it with the shark harpoon bouncing and electrocuting around. Okay, so we it, we do need to hit it indirectly, supposedly. Uh, yeah, lightning. <laughs> yeah, shark st shark stuff does not work. Lightning should. Uh, oh, but apparently you can catch it with a steel net. Let's see this. Do you have... You you have steel nets. Thank you. Okay. <coughs> and yeah, steel nets are easier. Oh, MC Sammy. Whoa, legit hot pepper tuna. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and the old ones. Now, since we can... Since there's a harvest at the sea, people, let's start from there, actually, and work our way up. We can probably also find a few more crab spots along the way. And I probably should have upgraded that to the max. Yep, new seaweed seeds. Okay. Again, how did you two get my <laughs> our phone number? <laughs> uh, Are you a telephone or... <laughs> it's got my brain. May flying fish. <laughs> Maybe. For now, though, let's see. What new seeds do you have then? Bladder. Okay, the two new ones. Okay, might as well buy a few of each. Even though I don't think we could ever convince anyone <clears throat> to uh, eat something with a seaweed called bladder rack. Like, that's just begging for problems. It's one of those things you, ex you expect to see, all right, I'm playing wizard the game. Right, right, okay, that sounds like a wizard in a different alchemical potion. And you would not have raised an eyebrow. But for food? Mm. Yeah. Eyebrows will raise. And apparently there's something going on at the, and the, something going on at the parlor. Dave, is something wrong, Lin Chen? Selgia ran away again. What? Again? Yes, I think something caught his attention. Another shining jellyfish? I think so. I've seen one near the glacial passage. Dave, I'm sorry to ask you again. But you should go look for Selgio. If he's hiding somewhere, you can lure him out with some feed. Okay, I'll search around the glacial passage. Now we need to find this stupid thing again. <laughs> but we'll do that another dive, because for now, we're going to try and find that silver uh, trigger fish again, and actually catch it this time. Mm. Oh. oh. Mm -hmm. Dave and Dave are spelled with only one letter different. It took you 40 hours to notice? Yeah. <laughs> and I thought, I used to think, okay, Dave the Diver, sounds catchy. 
But this is it, they say Diver. It took me long to realize that. I only realized that now for the sudden like you misset his name. I would have said Dave instead of Dire, but that which <laughs> then made me click. Uh, let's see. I heard you saved Tsuchi and Don uh, Donna from a cave. Thanks, Dave. Yeah, escaping was quite a challenge. Tsuchi can be quite a single mind when he's gathering seaweeds. But it's thanks to him that I got some new seaweeds. <laughs> It's called Bladderrack. I thought I'd make some delicious dumplings with it. What is everyone's obsession with Bladderrack lately? <laughs> I added it to the menu. Try it later. Wait, you, you mean offer Bladderrack in real life or something? <laughs> I don't know if it's actually a real thing or not, but if it is, I probably wouldn't touch it myself. <laughs> but not without a good amount of... Uh, <laughs> a good amount of... Uh, for encouragement, aka bribing. He has a chance to gather more seaweeds. Hmm. I think that I think they also be called sea grapes. Wait, it does say right there, sea grapes. Yeah, <laughs> that was in the, one of the first recipes we used. Uh, the description did say something about it having air bladders of some sort. But yeah, maybe I'll try it someday, but then I, there's already plenty of uh, options that this game presents as possible sushi ingredients. Uh, I'll put it somewhere at the lower end of the list. Yeah. All right, let's head on out. Yeah, let's see. Pizza, I noticed that in the first stream. I guess bladders are just super tasty. And there, there could probably be some ways to infuse it with taste. And I, I should dismantle I should dismantle these things more, because we are getting, we are using up parts quite a lot faster than we actually acquire them. Now, are we going to find any crab spots around here? Nope, immediately one. <laughs> also, let me check. Uh, nocturnal, that should be, no, not, uh, blue hole depths. Any fish here that I still need to catch? Oh yeah, frilled shark, uh, only frilled shark and blue spotted stargazer. Okay, so let's try and keep an eye out for that shape, for those colors. Yep. Oh, there's one right next to us. Um... How can we even catch those alive? There. Okay. Sea toads. It, nah. Bastard things. Yep. How the heck are we actually supposed to possibly catch those? Hmm. And I'm taking, I'm guessing that the yeah, higher gone. rank and better stores are catch, or are bait, the better crabs we will catch. Oh yeah, for the crabs, yeah, yeah, it's, it's some good bait that will attract better crabs. Okay. If hmm. I ask for the other fish, I gotta guess the uh, net gum. Maybe, but they're half buried most of the time. Let me actually check up their name again for a sec. Uh, yeah, Blue Spotted Stargazer. I might as well do a bit of a look on that whilst we wait for the crap to finish. The crap to be caught. Wait. Okay. Maybe you're supposed to use the net gun on them when they leap out to try to attack you. Maybe. I keep underestimating or overestimating the, the range of our spear gun quite a bit. Uh, let's see. Pizza, I don't think I was there when you guys played Dredge. No, uh, Dredge. Or if I was, I don't remember. So could you guys remind me what that game was about? It was basically a, fish, a fishing mini, uh, fishing game in an area where, uh, well, things were uh, 
things were not <laughs> as it seemed. Oh, hello. Two types. Basically, mm. it, it, you could describe it as a sort of survival horror, but instead of, well, needing to conserve ammunition or such, or any ways of being able to defend yourself, you uh, need to survive fishing out on the open sea and such, or, well, not only on the open sea, but still. Yeah, and no jump scare. You're, you're all nervous and afraid. You're out of tension. Yeah. <laughs> I have no news for that. Uh, it's not jump scare horror. It's it's more horror that we could uh, be, were able to play for. In many home games, we probably won't play that lie on a lot of jump scare or such. Here yeah. was more the horror of. Please don't eat the boat. Eat, please don't eat the boat. Please don't eat the boat. <laughs> yeah, it, it, an actual more fitting title may have been Dredge. AKA adding in an E, an A behind the E. Yeah. So we can make a but good dish with you, I believe. I would say people who don't like horror will be able to play that, that or at least watch it easily. So it, yeah. it, it, you should be able to watch them. Yeah, people who don't like jump scare horror would be good with that. It's more. Yeah. It, also, it's not like Splatoon horror either. It's more of, be careful where you, f where you fish, or approach. <laughs> Don't need pickaxes anymore since we've got our stuff upgraded. Okay. So you yeah. just need to f- oh. All right, Don't, I have that now. I it. I... Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I have to unsure if pizza, uh, God of Pizza was even around us when we streamed Dredge. I don't think so. But yeah, you, you can easily find the VODs of that on uh, YouTube. <clears throat> on the YouTube channel Pizza if you are interested. I will fully admit it's, it freaked the fuck out of me with a lot of it. Yeah, but in a good way, I would say. Yeah, it and we will be well returning to it once the... Uh, we will, yeah, we will return to it eventually, once we have the, or once we're done with Apotheon or any of the other games. Let's see. Let's put in another Sea Toad. That gave us a good amount last time. We can just explore in the meantime. Hello. I think, I think I can say this. Dredge and Dave Darby are kind of similar in the uh, in some way. They're both surprisingly relaxed in nice scenery it's not horror all the time it's just, yeah. it can't just be so damn relaxing it's just in some areas and of course at night actually at night you should uh, return to harbor i think i'll take this since we should be able to catch it with the uh <clears throat> with the nets yeah <laughs> with the net bomb so I might as well try and get some life catches. Hmm. Actually, do these work on you? Yes, they do. But yeah, actually, wait, 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 yeah, I would not call Dredge a horror game. I would more call it spooky game, not horror. Yeah, there is horror parts, but it's a lot less what you typically think of when horror and such. It. it B yeah. Basically, it's not the it's not the same type of horror that often gets, uh, but it's not like the, tip the horror what typically gets called horror these days, where it's typically just a bunch of jump scares and such. It's more akin to like a uh, alone in the dark horror. Like there is <laughs> there is scary and unnerving shit, but typically the most of the time it's going to be. Yeah, more stuff just being not as it should be. I'm not going to pick a fight with uh, Big Mouth over there. <clears throat> Alright, this passage has a tendency to be filled with these things. Uh, they should be easy enough to avoid. Nope.
got too close. Oh, hello, we need to catch one of you. Actually, we're probably going to find some more ammo, so... <laughs> Shoot it point blank. It's bleeding, so... Okay. Not bleeding as much as I thought. There we go. Okay. Haul this thing in. And on we move. Some vinegar. I, I, I keep forgetting to send the other people out to get more in the, to get more condiments and such. I can forget to remind you a bit. There. Uh, might as well use that up. If, actually, that was a. <laughs> okay, that was a bit of a bad pick, but I will, since the basic knife does more damage. Can we actually dump our melee weapon? Uh, actually, actually, we can. Okay. That is. That is. <laughs> <coughs> That's a quality of life bit I actually hadn't expected. Very nice. Very nice. Lightning harpoon. I think maybe last time we got a shock harpoon tip and not a lightning harpoon tip because it's the lightning that actually does damage to the uh, silver triggerfish. Not shock, since shock is more about a paralyzing instead of deal dealing damage. Yoink. Yoink. I said, yoink, come on, get. There we go. Okay. Now we're getting into friendlier waters. Okay. Grab you whilst we're here. Anything specifically I should be looking for around here? Let's see. Grab sailfish, angler, fish. Trevally, or Big Eye Trevally, and Hammerheads. Okay. Let's try and keep an eye out for these. The Trevallys are pretty numerous here, I believe. That, that Those are... Actually... There's one right over there, next to the other Trevallys. Hmm. Yep, there we oh go. <laughs> Okay, I do need a live one, though, to actually be able to breed it. The hammerhead we can kill, though. If we find one. Been a bit since we've been here. One, two. I shall make a bit use of the current. If There we go. Let's not go from one <laughs> spiky surface to another. I killed it. Oh well. It's food all the same. I'm, I'm pretty sure whatever leftovers we end up with at the restaurant get used up by day for dinner. And, well, otherwise, I'm presuming Poncho <laughs> will make him a special dinner. Let's be honest, without Dave, Poncho would never have been ever, anywhere near as successful with uh, the sushi restaurant as he is now. Let's, let's tear that apart and it's lower level. Probably only as he uh, dare to die, but dive into it here himself, but I suspect we should probably think Cobra, but he, he was the one who drew Boncho and they here. True. Got them to get here. I can feel the beep. So let me get this thing ready. Yep, there it is. Okay. Yep. Easy as that. Good, captured the fish man. I should take it to Udo. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Come here, you little. 
Yeah, there. Shrimp, we need that for the upcoming festival. Yep, yep, tuna. Well, we have a net now, so we can make use of that. It did. No, 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 not you. You, yes. <laughs> okay, that, that would have been utterly hilarious if the stupid zebra <laughs> fish got caught instead. Okay, now let's hope we don't get hit and run by uh, the others. <coughs> okay, and we're as good as at our carrying capacity, so let's just get out. That's just a seahorse. No interest in those. Neither in you. There. Yeah, it, it takes like a second before we can actually press to leave, so... That is what actually did us in that time. Okay. Let's see. Eastern Rock Lobster, Norway Lobster. And uh, one thing also about Blue Holes, it is, uh, it is possible for them to have very eclectic fish collections in them, but not as eclectic as, uh, well, here, where it's from all over the bloody world somehow. Let's see, we've got enough road to start breeding those, not those. Okay, and Frilled Shark. Okay, so that can go off the list to actively hunt for. <gasps> this fishman looks hard as nails. I don't even my iron fist could do anything against this. Uh, iron? I'd say more like aluminum foil. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah. Hello there in chat, Annie Marcia. Hey yo, what's up? <laughs> Welcome to the stream, we're playing Dave the Diver, where we should be getting access to the Dredge, Co Cro the Dredge Crossover DLC in this very day. Uh, yeah. <laughs> How are you doing today? Oh, hello and welcome! <laughs> let's see. Uh, how are you doing? Doing pretty well, I'd say. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Any, pretty um... well. Still a bit sick, but I think I'm on recovery. Yeah, uh, this is my co-host Rakir, and Hello. yeah, <laughs> welcome to the stream. Let's see. Anyhow, thank you. We'll be sending you a fee with the issues uh, when the issue is out on Monday morning. Okay. Yep. What about yourself, Annie? Oh, oh, oh right, we all lost that. Let's see. These two are new, and what was these? Uh, right, uh, Beachman on here. I'm from Sweden. And my friend here, the captain, is from the Netherlands. Yep, the Dutch and the Swedes. And if you're willing, if you'd be willing to, you can also say where you're from. Though there's absolutely no need to. Okay, tomorrow is the shrimp event. So let me act, let me take a quick peek at how we are stocked up on shrimp. We should be more than we should have more than plenty. Okay. Uh, ingredients. Yep. We have more than plenty of shrimp. 408. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Okay. And Annie Marcia is from the UK. Okay, hello, neighbor. <laughs> ah, you know the kingdoms. Uh, before I go, though. Uh, let's step away from that for a second. We should send some of this over to the branch. Or a lot of it over to the branch. Like a hundred or so. Yeah, that should be more than plenty. How, how did we get this many shrimps? Probably from the breeding farm. Well, well I can see it currently spookily foggy <laughs> uh, yeah but over here it's been rather rainy i must say but oh, uh, that really light. yeah <laughs> okay. too, yeah uh, let me double check let's let's see what do we have to catch in the hmm let's keep let's take just the normal gun, or rather the normal, the death rifle. <laughs> it's far from normal. And go into the... 
go into the glacial zone to find Selgio again. Okay, I'm presuming the weather over in the UK has been raining, uh, rainy as usual as well. <laughs> okay. Uh, wait, this is the glacial zone, not the glacial passage. So we just need to pop over quick. <laughs> yeah, day's been doing decently. And for you yourself, uh, we need to go up. Yeah, most I've, yeah, I've mostly just been lazying at home. And well, the has been recovering still. Hmm. Okay, now where is this annoying thing going to be hiding this time? Oh, huh? A shining jellyfish. That looks like something Selgia would like. I should follow it. Okay, here we go. Hmm. Also been a while since we've been down here. Yeah. Uh, this really isn't too much to catch here. Okay. Hmm. This jellyfish looks strange. Hmm. It seems like the path collapsed when the giant gate Agadon woke up. I've come this far, I can't lose it now. Gotta keep following it. Uh, which game do we play mostly? We mostly stream games more for the story, so we tend to just swap things around. But I, we do play some games more re somewhat regularly in co-op and multiplayer, like uh, Deep Rock Galactic or Valheim. So, yeah, we have a bit of an eclectic collection that we you know, tend to stream. Though this is the game that we have streamed the most out of everything. Seeing as well, this is the second, 22nd stream. <laughs> Okay, where is this yeah, thing going? Yeah, it's sort of like a... Uh, it's kind of funny. We have a main quest and a side quest game. Side quest used to be our shorter games we do on weekends. And we thought, by mistake, they did it out. It was a short game. Yeah. Oh, how 40... wrong we were! <laughs> yeah, then 40 hours later, we were still streaming the same game. <laughs> Okay, uh, if I may ask, what this, what sort of games do you like, uh, Annie Marcia? Or can I just call you Annie or Marcia? Which would you prefer? Let's see, which is your fave game? Uh, depends on what, uh, what kind of game. Out of the games that we've streamed so far, Dave here definitely measures up in the, the top five at the absolute least. Though most Especially of my... Especially this uh, year. Yeah. Definitely one of the favorite games of this year. Uh, but uh, the rest of my favorite games tend to be older ones, more from the 90s and such. Ah, the jellyfish disappeared. Hmm. Why don't they look around the area where it disappeared? Yeah, th th this game turned out to be a hell of a lot better than I ever thought was possible. <laughs> yeah, d this one in Dredge were damn good. What's going on now? Huh? I just heard something behind the ice. I think Seljo is hiding behind this sheet of ice. Alright, oh, I have the ice pick sushi gave me. Stay right here, you little rascal. Or there, you little rascal. Uh, let's see. Multiplay. We, we play both. <laughs> Use an ice pick to break uh, the ice by striking its weak points. Find the right spot before your ice pick breaks. Okay. And how do we find yeah, the we, weak spots? We, we try to vary it so we don't burn out on one game. As we have different games we play on weekend and different games we play on the, the week, main week. Yeah, okay, the weak spot is where the cracks overlap the most, I think. Or actually, no, we're, we're breaking our... <laughs> Okay, how do I find the... I thought that was damage done to the ice, but no, that's damage done to this. Okay, how do we find the weak spots then? Yes, let's try again. 
So yeah, we do both single and multiplayer games. Is this just going to be a bit of a guessing game? Uh, they, they ask if they do. You do multiple games. Uh, oh, hello, there we go. Uh, yeah, we we tend we tend to keep one game in the main week. Uh, in the evenings, and then we do two, three different ones uh, on the weekends. I thought there was a larger crack. Okay, how the heck are we supposed to find these weak spots? Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Okay, it looks like they're on the same spots. Let's see. Oh, okay, I think when this, with the smaller cracks, notify that we're close. Ooh, there we go. Okay, that's how you do it. Cracks mean nearby. Let's see. All right, I broke the sheet of ice. Now I should use the feed that Linson gave me to lure it out. If, if this is new. Uh, it's weird to see a 3D hand of Dave. Yeah. Uh, am I supposed to get it? Oh, oh I think I see, I see. There. Okay, I. We need to get them over here. And I thought we needed. Uh, <laughs> I thought we needed to pour in it there. Uh, too much of him? No, he's just getting confused. Uh, let's see, by the way. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Any Marcia, please no uh, art advertising in the stream. I have. Uh, I think. <laughs> I think the little jelly is confused. Uh, I have my own sources for that. I, I currently have someone already making a uh, a new avatar for myself, and uh, okay. <clears throat> okay, yeah. Now that we know that he's up there, just lure him out with a bit of feet like that. Let's see. Is that going to be enough? There we go. <laughs> okay. There. I shouldn't be there. I should use the bug net to catch it. Yeah. Get in here, you. So you sure is fearless considering it came all the way down here. I should go to Lynch now. I hope expect something big to come back. Him. Hello. Oh. Uh -oh. Linson, what brings you here? <laughs> I was so worried about Selgio. I couldn't stay inside. You found him. <laughs> come here, Selgio. I, I do like that they made extra artwork for the, the sea people in winter clothing. Dave, I owe you again. Not at all. I hope Sylvia doesn't cause any more trouble. Come visit the casino later. I have a small reward for you. I'll be on my way then. Take care, Dave. For a second I thought some new character had showed up or something, but no. Yeah, and I was at first bit moon, 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 and I'm, oh no, don't tell me I was right about a giant fish to attack us. <laughs> Look at you, sir. Yeah. And my, our Discord can be found below the stream, Any Marcia, but please don't go uh, poking people about artwork that will get you banned. Okay. Nothing against you personally, but we've had it multiple times already where people join in just to start annoying people about making art for them. So we're a bit uh, 
a bit light triggered or on that. Or light triggered. Uh... Yeah, for many of them. Mm -hmm. To ask where we are from, ask how we are, where are we from, all that. Then suddenly, would you like to buy that? Yeah, that sort of stuff. So you're welcome to the Discord if you're not <laughs> going to be uh, like any of those. Uh, let's see, pizza. I'm not even a streamer, but I get contacted by artists almost every day. Yeah. Okay. Let's just get out the short way. Let's not get annoyed by that thing. All right. <clears throat> um, we don't really have too many other goals for this dive. So I guess we could just go to the surface and <laughs> get act <clears throat> move into the evening. So we can probably get content, uh, get access to the aberrated fish, or shall we go look for something still? Actually, I am very eager for the aberrated fish. Okay, to so the evening it'll be then after we visit the, the casino. Oh yeah. Actually, let's just call this one in for a bit just to speed things along. <laughs> uh, this just remains cute. I still find it freaking hilarious that they actually <laughs> put in a replacement <laughs> whilst it was missing. Dave, you're here. Thank you for saving Sergio. It seems he likes to wander around when there's no one watching him. This is a small gift for you. Here's to our friendship, Dave. 150. Okay. Uh, let's see, pizza. Oh. I used to stream. I do plan on streaming again one day, but only when I get a better setup and don't plan on showing my face. So probably gonna be a VTuber. Yeah, you, you could probably be a pizza face t VTuber. <laughs> oh dear gods. Oh dear. No, oh, yeah. I hope I hope expected to, uh, to give you something else than money. Yeah, but oh well, it's, it's appreciated all the same. Like, especially the way she was giggling extra much. I was wondering, is he gonna give you something very nice, or is he gonna kiss you on the cheek or something? And let's be honest, I think we both know they would probably explode if uh, she kissed him. Yeah, this is looking a lot worse than this morning, huh? <laughs> The fog is even uh, redder now than it's e now that it's evening. Uh, well, how creepy. Can you listen? Yeah, the music is distorted, and there's a crescent blood moon out. Huh? There's some there's some light that's approaching us. Oh, we recognize that. Phew, the fog is really thick today. Yeah, who are you? I'm a traveler and a merchant, all enrolled in the one. I ended up here when it, while I was out hunting for aberrated fish. Aberrated? Ah, you don't know, do you? Aberrations refer to sea species that have strangely mutated or changed in some bizarre way. They appear at specific locations on days when the red, this, when the red mist rolls in. There are creatures called hooded figures who feed on these aberrated fish. <laughs> if you bring them aberrated fish, they will compensate you well. Mm. I have no idea what you're talking about. Mm. Hooded figures are such to, are sure to visit a nearby restaurant during the evening. Oh. By the way, you seem like a fisher. In that case, can you help me catch some aberrated fish? Mm. What? I can't sail in this fog. <laughs> now don't you worry, I'll lend you a special light that helps you sail through fog. It's called this the Skyfire. Hmm. You'll be able to navigate through the red fog with this, though you won't see very far. <laughs> Aberrant fish? That sounds fun. For now, we could use that light of yours. As it is, we won't be able to you know, we won't even be able to reach Bonser Susie. Oh Okay, so otherwise we would have been stuck here all the same. <laughs> Alright, now we should be able to navigate these waters. 
Oh, by the way, about the aberrant fish. Those hooded figures may eat them, but for sure the regular guests won't. What should we do with the leftover fish, miss? <laughs> I'll come by and buy whatever's left once you know, once close up shop. After all, they'll go bad the very next day if you store them like any other fish. Okay. Well, if that's the deal... Shall we give it a try, Dave? Aberrant fish, huh? Should be pretty interesting stuff for a diver like you. I do want to see them, but I have a feeling they won't be easy to catch. <laughs> but you've got yourself a mighty harpoon. For now, let's sail. <laughs> oh. Okay, so it's nothing. We don't go to. The, we don't dive in our usual spots. Wait, do we actually get a 3D bit here? If you see a small vortex on the surface. It, oh, hello! Hmm, the fog is thick. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, this is a crossover, all right. <laughs> yep. I, I, I thought there, there were 3D parts visible during the trailer for this DLC. Free DLC, I'll add. But I didn't actually think that we'd get to play in the 3D bit ourselves. Let's see, Dave, days like this can be dangerous ones. Uh, can, can be a dangerous one. I recommend brushing up on how to steer the boat. Okay. Yeah, forward, back, turn. <laughs> it means that we can actually uh, explore the blue hole a little bit as well. We can turn the camera a bit. And... Okay, they're taking control away until we do this. Pardon? Seems like it's smooth sailing for you. There's one thing I forgot to mention. Where there's a small vortex, there's sure to be aberrant fish. Small vortex? Oh, and you'll also see some spots foaming with bubbles. It won't be easy diving in those areas, but there's valuables you can dredge up in those areas. You might find rare materials or items that can fetch a good price, so keep an eye out for them. Valuables? Now that's something we can't miss. <laughs> Talk to you later. See you at the restaurant. Okay. During foggy evenings, you can catch aberrant fish. Move your boat to find a dive spot. Okay. I don't think we want to go out that way. Okay. For I first thought there was something big fishing here or oh, swimming around here. The the vortex. There. That looks like the small vortex that the merchant mentioned. It looks like it. Ready to go in, Dave? It looks even more dangerous up close. We can't come all the way here only to leave empty-handed. With your skills, there shouldn't be any problems. Let's catch some aberrant fish. Okay, here we go. We're probably going to regret this. You will automatically stop sailing when you dive. Okay. Barbed eel. Oh. Lovely. And at the very least, we should be diving in shallower waters here. Okay. Tranquilize our harpoon. Okay, take that. Okay, the music is already a, a lot more unnerving sounding. Uh, there's something. Yep, yep, wrong. Yep. Never mind. Better this way. Grotesque mackerel. That was a mackerel? Yep. Mm, let's keep that one, since it's a three star. If there's anything else around here to catch easily. Nope. Another <laughs> easy catch. Okay. Many eyed mackerel. Hello? That's a three-headed one. A three-headed cod. It's a pizza. Now, don't take me as rude, but I think the Annie Percy left, and they might have been trying to promote their stuff. Yeah, it, it does look like it. Like, like that pizza. So, oh yeah. well. For the way they were asking so quickly each time, made me instantly. Like. 
It was fun until they started to ask about the artistic stuff. No, it, it wasn't self promotion right away. Yeah. You are highly aggressive. And actually, they actually asked about Discord before and then after. They didn't like, do it like the others. They just threw up uh, the whole commercial thing right away. Yeah. I'll check out on Discord if they're there annoying people. But for now, we fish. Or rather, we dredge. Yep. Uh. I think they have mentioned that on Steam before. On rare occasion. And you're getting a new model? <laughs> I think I've said it a few times, but not every single time that I stream, since it's, it's, oh, it's a work in progress, so it's still going to take a while. Good miss. Thank you. Okay, the fish here are a lot more aggressive, so we definitely need to be careful with that. Uh, wait, Cerebral what? Cerebral crab. Uh, what did you say? A cerebral, a cerebral crab. And yeah, that's the <clears throat> that's how we pull in the uh, yeah, that's why we pull in the fish with the uh, elect or with the shock <clears throat> with the shock spear heads. A harpoon head <laughs> pizza. Rain crabs? Yeah. Okay, that's just a, a bit of copper. Uh, let's let's see how deep we can actually go. So, what's QTEs? Quick time events. Oh, right. Uh, I don't hate quick time events, but I don't love them either. Yeah, it, it, they. How good or bad they are fully depends on how they're used. Indeed. I, I have been able to tolerate it on Monster Hunter Stories too, but there are moments I feel like they should probably put this out better for you feel like if they really want you to do it, almost, it might end up breaking the Switch controller. Yeah. Okay. Barb, you, can we find a better... No, no, it's not the shock uh, harpoon, it's a tranquilizer uh, one. Let's actually swap out our rifle for the dart gun. No, no, is that Possibly a, a big dart? mistake. You know how a hush dart works, right? Yeah. If someone's being loud, you just shoot them with that and they go hush. No, 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 you shoot them with the dart and the dart will tell them fretfully hush. Yes, Helian is more right than me. Charles <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Grouper. There's another barbed eel there. Okay, I wonder how many of these spots we can fish during a night. Common cat food. Drink. Yeah, I think we definitely want to upgrade our backpack. Definitely. We can still upgrade it a few times, I think, or at least once. We definitely need to, need to upgrade the crab box, because there's a bunch of crab that we still haven't caught yet. Yeah. So we're going to we need to use the last. Yeah, we definitely must, but we actually gain earning a lot of mo- <coughs> mo- mm. Damn you, heal. I blame you room for this one. Why are we somehow so... Is it so linked, mind linked? That, that, that reminds me of something, actually. Uh, you know uh, Lo Nuzlocke runs with uh, Pokemon? Have you ever heard of it those? Rings a bell. Yeah, basically, a Nuzlocke is a, a sort of self-imposed hard mode with Pokemon games that you're only allowed to catch the first Pokemon you find in a, an area. 
So if you go from Route 101 to Route 102, you could only catch the first Pokemon you find in those. If you accidentally knock them out, then they're just out. And if your own Poke if one of your own Pokemon gets knocked out, you can't use them anymore. Now, a Soul Link variant is that where you do that with uh, a co-op of sorts. As in, two players will play through the game uh, together, or like, or through, no, not together. Two people will play through the game, through the same game, not, but on different consoles and such, so their own saves. And when they, when they catch Pokemon in an area, they become, they become quote unquote soul linked. So if one, if one of the players loses one of their Pokemon, and hello, Drain Gun. Hmm, a strange weapon. It looks like it could even suck up souls. Uh, for example, if if both players catch a Pokemon on uh, the f the first route, then the, those Pokemon become soul linked. So, but that means if one of them gets knocked out, then the other one has to be become made unusable as well. Okay, yeah. Only reason, oh yeah, only reason I know of that term is because I saw it recommended to me on on YouTube. I thought first that it was the name of uh, a, the Pokemon or the Fortnite. I look like a dinosaur with axe nostrils. Okay. Uh, axe mustache. There, there is a Pokemon called plains. Nosleaf. That's close, but I don't actually know where the term comes from. Let me actually look at that. Uh, look that up. Also, we can try this thing out. See what it does. Wait, did you see how it look? Yeah, it's. A, an, it looks like it came out of uh, an HK Geiger game or something. Oh yeah, is it? Yeah, that looks very alien. Looks biotechnical almost. Like, it makes it organic and tech. Okay, it's basically like a laser of sorts, but it, do it does kill them, so that makes it less useful than the others. Uh... Wait, does it even use... Oh wait, it does use ammo. Yeah. It has a lot of ammo. But it does use it up pretty quickly. It was 40 at the start. Hmm. Is it meant to hunt fishes with, or could it be a Man. more effective boss fight weapon? Probably for that. Okay, let's get around or... a bit quicker. Oh, I also know that's something I would not be surprised it can do. I would not be surprised if it can um, mutate regular fish. I doubt that. I'm not even sure if we'll be able to get blueprints off of these things. Yeah, but we'll have okay, to see. I, I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case. Not saying that it is. And these things leak purple blood. Oh, lovely. Yeah, I, th I think after this, Dave is going to be wanting a very long bot. Oh, and Pizza has put up a small essay. Okay, we do. We should find some oxygen somewhere quick, though. Okay, you. Screw this. Okay, these fang cod are really aggressive. Yeah, you, you stayed within the limits, I'm presuming by only one or two letters there. And that sounded like something big spawning. Mizu. Kayuma. Uh, what the heck? There we go. Fanging card. Oh yeah, we remember those. Yep. I wonder if they may have made some new fish for this. There. Yep. Mm 
Oh, it, oh, isn't it the eyeless one? No, Tusk Grouper. I, I know there was at least one fish, or aberrant fish, that didn't have any eyes. Uh, I'll, I'll check what you posted once we're out on the surface again, uh, Pizza. And hello. Black vinegar. Uh Okay, I think we need to go surface. Host eel. But it certainly was hostile. Oh, oh no, it's those! Yeah, the ones that are hosting. Host eels, do you? Yeah, there is something inside them that should not be there. A lot of it. Also, uh, have you perhaps spotted any oxygen re refillers? I haven't. I've been busy looking at chat and ah. their monstrosities. Okay. For a moment, I thought I thought there were not going to be any on this to make it uh, more difficult. Okay, and that's about as much that we can carry. So let's try and find an escape point. In the meantime, I can try to read that. Let's see the turb. Oop. Oop, it was it was about to dash. You tried. <laughs> I feel like we had an almost a mythical moment. You tried to escape this damn underworld, and of course, the fish version of Cerberus had tried to attack. Yeah. Okay. There, now we can't carry anything more. <laughs> okay, we should have expected aberrant sharks as well. Let there be a... No. Useful, but less than a scooter. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll read that when I get to the surface. Uh, I think it's a bit too risky to try and read that whilst I'm still trying to get away. Is this sealed off? Yes, it's sealed off. Which means that we're going to need to sneak around the shark. No, you don't. I said no. A dog. A uh, fish. Sweat by weight. Uh, uh, I, I tossed out a two star for a one star. Oh well. Okay. Oh, can we squeak by? Yes. Oh, and that's something else spawning. Now let's let's take this. Yeah. Oh, so much metal, but no. We need to escape. And yeah, we'll get so we'll get sharks some other time. Okay, return to boats. Okay, do we have any other times? No, we. Okay, we do get a blueprint of that. Okay, I I don't want to know what kind of eldritch techniques you're going to need to use you know, to make that stuff. Wow, that was some dense fog. Sure was. Good thing you made it back. Yeah. Did that merchant lady mention something about hooded figures coming to the restaurant? Let's go to Bancho Sushi. Okay, so we only get one dive. And it, does cost us, it does cost us a bit of time in the evening, but I'm presuming that the, the aberrant fish are going to sell for quite a lot. Yeah, for... They be wanting it. Question is, will they also appear at the branch? Uh, Let's see. Oh, hooded figures will constantly order aberrant fish until you close for the day. Note that normal guests do not eat aberrant fish. Make sure to prepare other dishes. Okay, so... Oh, they will... They will keep asking. Okay, I did not expect that. Uh, 
hence why they are probably will pay for a lot for it. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, yes. good just God. At, just at, it's only level one, but it's already maxed out and it's 600. Let's see. Make all of those. And it's going to spoil on the next day. So we might as well put as much on the board as we can. Yeah, and These she are said all she going will... to be single servings. Yeah, she said she would buy uh, whatever good doesn't uh, get sold. Yeah. Okay. And I'm gonna... But yeah, don't forget to do some normal food as well, for we be having both guests. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to take a guess that we will have about 50-50. So let's put up 25 of those. And we, let's see, gentle snowfish, snow face, snow face. Let's put up hmm, Yeah, let's put up that as well. I'm definitely overselling with this. But better more than less. There. And then last three headed cards. Okay. Also, on the staff, uh, we can't... Let's see, the notes I have here is that the four best servers are El Nino, Ko, Itsuki, and Raptor. But these two make a really good combo because, well, wasabi refill, cocktail serving, cleaning master, and drink serving. So they can cover every single task that we could otherwise do. <clears throat> Uh, best cooks, of course, Maki at the top spot. Then we have Charlie, Musuke, and Masayoshi. No, let's have a bit more. Of, let's have a look here. Yep, we have Ko, we have Itsuki, we have Yusuke as well. Pai is supposed to be one of the best at uh, this patch. And there is Charlie. Okay. So. It, uh, yep. The other best collectors are Davina, Caroline, Carolina, and Liu. Liu. So we can't. And Dre here is considered the best as the uh, branch manager. So we could fire some of our other staff and replace them with them, or we could keep them on for this patching as well. Yeah, I think keep them on for this patching since. The more I did dispatch to get more ingredient, the better, in a way. And let's be honest, we can afford it. True. But we don't want to run things up too high. Now, just yeah. in case... If I want to send off any other aberrant fish to the branch, in case the hooded figures will show up there as well. I think that we want to show up here. Unless I hope. Oh. Mm -hmm. no. Okay, we can't sell them. And we can't... Okay, they will only show up here then, I'm guessing. <clears throat> yeah, it would make sense. Okay, weapon shop. Yeah, we can now get the drain. Oh, oxygen regeneration. Oh, okay, it, it drains health. Okay. Uh, but first, before anything else, let's check what Pizza had to say. Let's see, the term Nuzlocke is a portmanteau of Nuzleave and Lock. It originated from a comic called Ruby Hard Mode, created by a user called Nuzlocke on 4chan. The comic features a Nuzleave that looks like John Locke from the TV series Lost as a recurring character. The Nuzlocke challenge is named after this comic and has uh, since become popular among Pokemon fans. Okay. Not sure if I'd ever do one, but we've never streamed a <laughs> Pokemon game before. Likely hmm. bad idea to do with so ever since like okay, I'm pretty sure the new ones have more story than the old ones. Where it was it has story. But yeah, I'm sure they, they, they are very long. Yeah. Maybe we could do it as a challenge at some point, or a milestone, or start it as a, a milestone celebration. 
Yeah, but mm. we will stream Digimon Cyber Sleuth for that one. We can easily off screen grind and all. Yeah. And there's a lot of story in those games. A lot. Uh, let's see. Especially the mm -hmm. second one, which I am concerned about. But the second uh, Cyber Sleuth we would be, have to be careful with. Let's train you up a bit. Hmm. Uh, actually, for now, I I, I might train the I might train the staff and shuffle them around off screen, uh, but I won't con yeah I won't continue gameplay with that. So for now, let's see about just dispatching everyone. Uh, actually, what is our best dish at the moment? Um, ingredients. Can we see which of our which is our best? Uh, not at the moment. And apparently, there's a lot more shrimp dishes to get. Also, we have to keep in mind that all of the staff will give us re new recipes if we train them high enough. Hmm. So yeah, I'll probably train up everyone to a certain point, but then probably fire them again so we can keep up the... Uh, so we don't get drained on running costs. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. not it. I, I still find it funny about Raptor Gidu there. there. He's a YouTuber, but he doesn't wear a mask. However, in-game, his mask is his damn YouTube channel icon. Yeah. And it seems that Duff can make this, so let's see if this involves any Eldritch summoning. Okay. Luckily not. Ill? Is it a diver? Just... Do that if I don't expect it. Well... This game getting a crossover along with uh, a crossover with Dredge was also very unexpected, so... Okay, now we're disappointed nothing else happened. Okay. Well, I guess that was unexpected. Okay, okay, they're going to stay parked over there. Them, they? I'll stay over here for any plates that need to be cleaned. Oh yeah, they're staying for more and more, so... Yeah, they're not leaving. I'm going to refill quick. Oh, it was already done. Okay. The other one not leaving comments or you guessed yeah. it. I, I I don't think they'll have phones. Huh? And see the hooded figures have left. Mm. Let's see. You have some leftover aberrant fish. <laughs> I'll buy them as promised. Ah. Let me make the calculations. Okay, that's a good amount. 2,000. Mm. Oh. Here you go. The figures will come visit again the next time there's red fog. Mm. Make sure you have aberrant fish to keep them happy. Oh. Yeah. If a visit from the hooded figures is inconvenient for you, mm. please give me a call. I will suggest a different restaurant to them. <laughs> Save my number. Wait, you sent them here? <laughs> Okay. And yeah. <laughs> Not the best day, but we did get our five stars back. Yeah, and it, she did give us some bonus money. And Davina did, didn't have a single... Ba uh, uh, a single... Uh, wait, uh, she used up some of the shrimp, but okay, there should be plenty left for tonight. No one pissed off this time. Hello there, a wonderful Monday. Thanks to your help, we were able to get a special in the magazine we issued today. Keep the good work, I'll be back on Saturday. 
increased magazine sales, and we got 1500 from that. And yeah, stream party tonight. Spike, and it said for a moment you were not streaming and reconnected again. Okay, <laughs> for a bit it sounded like you were talking out through a tuba or something. Okay. Anyways, let's check over here. You can store up to 200, uh, 200 pro uh, crops. And they'll get sent automatically. Okay. The only thing we really have to check for now then is the chicken feeder. So we basically only have to come back every three days. Okay. All right then. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm guessing that some people got annoyed at having to come here each and every day or so, but yeah. <clears throat> Allowing us to hire Sammy as an aide for this, that helps a lot, yeah. Yeah, and those are kind of fees good. Maybe or he's helping us, but we're also helping him by paying him. Yep. So, a good way to do, do it, I say. There. And, oh, I just realized. How the heck do we get another Uncle Donko? Uh, All right, we. Uh, was that one? We can probably get uh, one if we go back to the lowest part of the, in the hole. Right. Um, no, is, do you remember which one is the Uncle Donko? Uh, actually, <laughs> if it was a boss fight, then we can't breed it to begin with. Not boss fight, not boss fight. Fake prehistoric fish with a bloody bear trap for mob. Yeah, yeah. Don't kill Ostius. Let's see. Yes. Gaming Beaver nicknamed it Uncle Dunkle. <laughs> Welcome back, pizza. Welcome back, pizza. Got a pizza. I think we can just keep it at pizza to keep it simple. Uh, let's see. Oh, and I forgot to dispatch everyone again this day. Oh well. Wait, you, you can do it now before you forget. And we can check which of which are our best recipes with condiments now. <laughs> okay, a lot of food incoming. Now, which is our tastiest? Let's see, at the moment that's the Kaplan Sushi, though that isn't going to hit the requirements for the last level, or the last uh, rank. If Bancho were a Jedi, the Clone Wars would have been over in like a week or so. <laughs> now, let's see. This one is... Hmm. How will we get the highest ones then? Uh, let's see. These are the special ones, so we can ignore those. Chronosaur, Phantom Jelly, Yellowfin Tuna. Hmm. Okay, which can we push up high enough then? Hmm. We need something with what was it again? 370? Yeah, 375. And the best tasting thing that we have now or had was 330. So what is something that we can push up to 375? It's not going to be these simple mm -hmm. ones, it has to be a dish. Yeah, mm. and I feel we're gonna need a lot more fish to upgrade the dishes. Yeah, Cookie Shark. 
Now it's probably not going to reach it if it's going only own pick, only going up by 20 each. And let's see, pizza. I thought it was a lightsaber. Way to ruin my expectations, dude. <laughs> <laughs> let's see big ice cats okay we need more miso and sesame seeds to up this one but it is a bigger jump that might hit 370 uh, let me do a quick calculation that is a jump of 26 so uh, 7 is 280 Trio something. This might hit. This might hit it if we get it high enough. So miso and sesame seeds. With both that one and the odd one held. Staff. Everyone who is waiting. This patch for sesame. Say go for that and for the cookie cutter sharks. So it's gonna go for both. Now, if it's only going to go up in 20 taste each time, it's not going to hit the minimum of three years uh, of 370. So, will it encounter both dishes? No, it, it, it's the, the highest singular one. It doesn't matter oh. if we have multiple high ones. Oh, damn it. Okay. Anyways, it's a shrimp party tonight, so let's see what is the highest thing that we have with shrimp. Price. Shrimp pizza. Let's see. Out there, out here. Hubble's ink pasta. Okay. <laughs> shrimp is just an extra in this, but okay. Uh, we've got 32. How much would this do to make 40-ish, 6? So we would need 32... No? Uh, hmm. Okay, we need 18 shrimp then. How much can we... Okay, we... And, oh, wait, we have let... We don't have enough Hubble squid now. Hmm. I guess yeah, we'll have... That means we'll just have to hunt those down specifically. Well, it's a lot of. Oh, wait. 50 to 130. Wait, hold on. Is that the depth or how big they can get? Uh, what? 50 to 130. That's the depth at which we find at which we find them. Oh, thank goodness. For a hobble squid that's 130. 100 meters long will be <laughs> a, a kraken. No way, krakens are over mm. one kilometer. But they're only they're nocturnal. Hmm. Oh, okay. Okay, we're going to do three rounds of fishing. So the first two rounds we fish shrimps and everything else we need. Then before the shrimp night starts, we may need to go for humble to the squid. Well, so this one's pretty else. good as well. Just careful of how much you upgrade for me. Don't. Hell, count the yeah. radio! Yeah, I, I saw that. Okay, we could probably send over the ingredients for uh, for this over to the branch so they have also something to run. Yeah, uh, here, uh, let's say this. I know we both love mayo, but there's no need to sacrifice the mayo for the mayo gods. Okay, so how about squids? And we have plenty of eggs. Hmm. Yeah. I guess we will have to pray we find more mayo. So I'm gonna be surprised as a regular. the other dispatcher we find some mayo as well. Perhaps, but they'll come back tomorrow. Oh, and looks like we have a good reason to go hunt the Triton Triggerfish, since they're part of a good dish here. Okay. So, so why am I yeah, standing I, uh, up as you sit down? I guess we can just go 
focus on Titan Triggerfish and just do whatever we else we find in the shallows. A normal okay. mackerel. Oh, how peaceful to see a normal mackerel after what we have seen. <laughs> All right. So yeah, we're 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 actually ex yeah, explicitly looking for the predators this time. So let's leave the other fish alone since we know that we have what we need of most of them already. Actually, let me double check. Sword by marine life. Okay, tuna, but we we don't have anything to catch these. Marlin, yellow, the other tuna, and short fin mako. mako. Okay, so we're mostly just going to stay in the shallows. Actually, wait. Yeah, the, the titans? Yeah, the titans are here as well. Trigger fish uh, are here I as well. To, I need to say this. Hmm? Ain't it, you know, is it kind of complicated to find a jar of salt in the ocean? A bit, maybe. Let's see. And I forgot to grab along something non-lethal in case we find one of the uh, Travales that we want. But I will. It's kind of hmm. not new. No, we found more of those before. Oh, I guess I already forgot them. You did it because it's fresher. Actually. I'm there we go, instant death. <laughs> okay, you're going on the table. Oh, biomass. Oh wait, no, not here in its dream. Not here in its dream. Little seahorse. It's been a bit. It's been a bit since we've done the uh, seahorse races, but I think we. We don't really need to do that much there anymore. Since we need some really, really good seahorses to actually be able to continue with most of those, I believe. Yeah. So yeah, let's keep this to a calm, shallow dive. Ooh. You cannot disturb it after what you've been through. <laughs> I do wonder how often we'll get red mist events, though. Hmm. It, oh, it did not mean to put that one down, but we can fill it with some stuff anyways. Yeah, so if something happens, we won't lose these. And yeah, they, they, they are kilo limited, so yeah, just throw as much as possible in. Yeah. We'll be going back there anyways for the crab trap. Yeah, do, don't that box automatically go up there after a dive? Yeah, the, the crab trap no, but the other one yes. Alright, good. So we just have to wait for a check mark to appear next to the, the trap. And then we know when to come back. Yep. No need for that. I will take this, though, just to top off from the treasure while thrashing us. <laughs> there we go. In the box with you. And the trap is already done. Okay, that was just mostly because I... <laughs> those freaking little darts es they escaped me for so long. Let's see, anything non-lethal? No, lightning harpoon tip. Okay. Oop, seahorse. Didn't see that against the background. Okay. Put whatever we can in there. Okay. And what do we find here? Okay, European and American lobster. Okay. Mm. Wait. 
Do we just find lobster, lobster Hillian on lobster list? <laughs> no. I think that's a yes. Yoink. Let's see. I'll have to look up what really determines how much we get, but I do think it's going to be star rank and or star rank and normal rank related with those. Uh, hmm. No, 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 Basically, curvy lobster. Okay. Uh, Snus doesn't. Uh, Perv and Parvo. Is this a. Uh, per, Parvo is Perv, but Snus. Like, it's used as an alternative to Perv and filthy, so like, like a. Yep. Like a dirty yeah. mag and such. Actually, but yeah, maybe I don't with know. some luck. But yeah, I don't know why, why of all. All of us we put, put a lobster to be the pervy animal. It sounds weird, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. I'll cut, cut you up, get you over. We won't get any row out of it like that, but we'll still get it just for the foods. Actually, I'm, I'll try taking a shot at the other two as well. Yeah, just so we have some tuna in storage. Now, what did we get? The same. <laughs> okay. Now, let's keep looking around for triggerfish. And then we'll call it a dive. Because we I think we're about to hit the uh the right side here. Yeah, there's the wall. Wait. Why call it dive so early? Because we're looking specifically for for specific fish. Well, do remember, we have plenty of weight. True. And I'm pretty sure the fish re 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 no, respawn. Uh, not while we're diving, no. I think it is technically possible to clear out the entire area. Oh. Well, might as well grab as much fish as possible for. Oh no, what and other fish we will need in the future. Okay. But let's keep it to the shallows then, so we can at least get you know, easily get out again. E hmm. Definitely. Most definitely. Yoink. Also, let me check if there's any sharks near the surface. Just in case what? that happens again. Yep, 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 not a shark, but it's a marlin. Oh, yeah. hold on, hold on. Red tooth. He has yeah. red teeth. That's gonna sound disturbing. <laughs> A fish with red teeth. Uh, not sure what that might reference to. Uh, uh, you tang. have one. Uh, it should be in your uh, bag. Yeah, it's red tooth triggerfish, but it's blue. So, not sure where th that might come from. Unless oh, it's inner teeth are red? Mm. Let's see. Another shrimp. It's a good thing that that's the command pop or the button pop up. The button prompt pops up. Otherwise, I would miss most of those. Well, so let me just be double sure. Yeah, zero to fifty meters. So it won't. We won't find any of those down deeper. Drink. Okay. Maybe I should try a run of or a dive where I just try to catch each and every single fish that has spawned, just to see if it is possible. I will have to dump most of them, of course. But just to see if it is possible to both completely empty out the hole for a turn. 
I mean, you probably just good at it, just look it up. I'm pretty sure someone has tried it already. Probably. And it is probably a good moment to use search for loot as well. Like more mayo and whatnot we can find. Like, any ingredient will be welcome. Yeah, though we would get more from dispatching. Every little bit does help. Yeah, every little bit. Like... You know what? We basically said it on uh, Valheim today. I mean, uh, survival game rule. Gather it even if you don't think you need it. Yeah, because you'll likely need it sooner or later. All the same. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Get in the box. Get in the box, you overstuffed... Uh... <laughs> Yeah, I'm... Yeah, that works as well. It was a coaster was what I was thinking of. The stuff you put underneath the glass. Because, <laughs> let's be honest, that, they sort of look like that. <laughs> I look at my coasters at the moment. And I actually agree. There. Yeah, I, I get the feeling people might have done challenges of just how you know, how big of a catch number they can get in a single dive. Yeah. There. But it does seem like a game that some people do experiments. Mm. These small fries that weigh absolutely nothing. Like 0 0.2 no, kilograms. Those are not small fries, those are cardinal fish. Hmm. I don't think we'll be finding any more trigger fish. Wait, you don't eat clownfish? I do think so, yeah. Too far, yep. <laughs> this would be a lot easier with the net gun. <laughs> okay. Let's see if there's anything bigger around the catch. Hmm. Actually, maybe the smaller fish would respawn if you catch enough of them. The smaller ones would make sense. Yeah, the big ones not. No, let's be honest. It does feel like uh, the sharks have respawned occasionally, if not often. Yeah, I'm pretty sure those are one dive only and such. So I don't think we've seen sharks after we've passed back through an area. Not that there's been much need to pass back through a place. Well, you Since... have. But, like, you kill a shark, you dive down. They were returning, the shark had returned. Hmm. I'm pretty sure like I'm not myself. Wait. Oh, I hope it wasn't. I'm thinking back to that damn shark. Like. Yeah, I'm not gonna repeat that story, but we have been telling that story for so many times now. Yeah. Let's see, 77 caught, with 99 being our best. Over oh, 3 meter long shark. <laughs> Okay, steal something new here, Marinka. Okay, so this the American lobster has been added now. Okay, there is still this here. So I think we should... Let's go to the glacial area just to see if we can find that. Alright, and um, yeah, who knows what else we can find there. Maybe we find more shrimps. Maybe. Or the goodies. Mako. Okay. And once we're out of the water, I'm finally going to look at the upgrades again. So we're, we're kind of at the point where money doesn't matter too much anymore, huh? 
Uh, I don't want to answer that. For I feel like if I do, we're going to regret it. Okay, as long as we don't trail, as long as we don't spend too much on staff, we should be stable with everything. <laughs> okay, you were very unlucky there, dude. Okay. Let's go see if let's go see if the narwhal is around. Maybe we can get some row out of them. And I do think the I do think the treasures they do I do think those just completely randomly spawn. Kim, oh, there it is. You can't get row from a narwhal. Yeah, whatever is the equivalent then. Cough. Hmm. There we go. Uh, I'm pretty sure we had one of these in captivity. Mm. Okay. Curry stock. There. Uh, wait, can you still hear me? Yes. You were quiet for a bit. Wait, I can't hear you. Okay. Wait, now uh, I can hear you. Okay, Discord farting out again. Yeah, I know that, that, that Discord was showing I was talking, but not my icon on stream. Okay. So, it might not be Discord, it might be OBS. Yeah, that's. The OBS isn't between us talking, that's only Discord. Yeah, and but again, I, I disc show was... code showed me I was talking, but not the icon on stream. Hmm. Still, that hmm. OBS isn't st it, it, OBS isn't functioning between us, so OB it shouldn't have any effect on the chat or the voice chat. Hmm. Yeah. At least with that, it was only momentarily. Yeah. Okay. It would be good to shake it up later. Could we go back into the side areas? Because I think there were treasure spawning there more regularly. Yeah. So I will probably say this again for I will not be surprised you were unable to hit him earlier say this. No boys give birth to live young. Yeah. I think the game is uh, sort of ignoring that just for so we can actually farm them. But then again, we we get different. We get a dip. Well, we get something different from the sharks we catch as well. Yeah. Uh, put that in there. Okay. And the other one has already caught something. Okay. Sesame seeds. Oh, I thought it was your honey. Bastards. Okay, I'm a bit surprised they haven't charged me yet. Hmm. Uh, for what? Uh, the, the, there's a little cat face. They, uh, they, they, they attack when they get near. Not considered hostile, but they still attack. What did they shot you for? Pocket ticket? Anyways, yeah, we can Wait, go why back in here. I'm reading my eyebrows where I know no one can see it. Let's see, any chance of finding treasure in here again? Let's speed up a little bit. Okay, it doesn't look like there's going to be anything in here. Maybe in the longer passages or such. <clears throat> Speeding up a little bit here. Anything over that way, perhaps? Never mind. It feels weird to see wooden spikes on the water like that. Yeah. Or uh, how old now? Very old, at least. 
Like, I can buy an underwater tree for it's alive. It's made to survey underwater, but those three logs are dead. Yeah, they could be wood from the uh, from the tree, from the uh, yeah, <laughs> the big important tree. I'm blanking on his name for a bit. Uh, that could probably make sense. Yeah, or it could just be yeah, that yeah, all of this is so cold that there aren't any uh, bacteria alive to eat away at it. Also possible. And yes, remember, the, oh, the, the underwater village does use wood as well. Hello. That's, that's the whale. Now it's the different whale. Whoa, whales this deep in the glacial area? Is that a bowhead whale? Looks pretty unique. You're going to make take a picture? For a moment I thought that might have been the youngster that we saved, but that would be uh, real quick. Not even a photo, Dave? Okay, did not expect that. Head way. I don't know what we call them in Swedish. I, I recognize the whale species. Don't remember what we call them. It looks like uh, it looks a bit like the whale that uh, from Pinocchio. Uh, no. Mm, actually, wrong no. Wrong species. Yeah, yeah, wrong species completely. Yeah. Cascalot whale, or AKA known as uh, sperm whale. <laughs> for I think, I think for most, I think, I'm, more, I'm more used to we just calling it in Sweden Cascalot whale. Cascalot whale. Okay. So, whenever I, early on when I heard the, the term sperm whale, I was wondering what kind of pervy yoga they're making now. <laughs> I I I I just for people were making a oh the way shooting from its hole its years funny funny something like that but no apparently it's a actual alternate name for us Cascadot Whale This made me die a bit on the inside <clears throat> Pardon You're being pardoned no. this time <laughs> baseball again Let's Can see. they even hold it? Like, how the heck does the fish hold baseball bat? Uh, with his fins? Yep, seahorse. Drink. Okay. It is a gamble on whether there will be a relic somewhere around here or not. But I think there's been a spot somewhere around here that has typically had one. Finally, some quality cat foods. Okay, just to make sure people don't misunderstand. The cat food is not for Helen, it's for a kitten. Yeah, boop, let's not get too close. We can afford better food for Helen and Dave. There. Okay. Yeah, it looks like we're not having any luck with the relics. And we're not going to be able to get in there either. Hmm. I forgot about the spikes. Hmm. I, I would expect the relics to be within the ruins. Can that make sense? Yeah, let's take a peek in here if there's anything that spawns here. Like, we know fish will spawn again in uh, behind the uh, bo the boat rack in the, in the shallower areas. It doesn't look like there's going to be anything in here. Okay. Yeah, dude, this is not a ruin, though. Let's see. Now, whilst we head upwards, I'm going to do a quick little... Yeah, a quick search on this. 
Uh, it's still on the blue spotted gazer. Oh my eyes. I'm getting pedestal. sleepy. Okay, we do have about 10 minutes left, but if you want, we can call it a bit earlier, since these dives do tend to be a bit lengthy. Uh, I can say we can finish this dive, it's like, uh, and we can then call it. No, you will pick and not me. Yeah, okay. On who we raid. Uh, I will really see if I stay on that long for I feel like I'm probably gonna need to brush my teeth before I fall asleep. Again, mm -hmm. I am still sick, which apparently makes me sleepy earlier. Okay, apparently, according to Steam, the Jade Pedestal spawn in one of the side caves here. The third area. Uh, okay, seeing a bit of contradicting info here. Um, okay, let's look down a little bit lower still. We've been here. This would be deep enough to head into the next region, I believe. Or not yet. Mm. Gonna dare. Okay, now we're in the next region since the ice well, isn't sticking around here. So now yep. we are in the part where the prehistoric fish should be. Hmm. Drink. Jade marble? Oh, just mar a regular small marble. Yeah, we need a jade pedestal. Hmm. Let's pop this up. Open. Okay, nice, but we don't need this. We've got a, a better gun already. Yeah, like I said, we could finish this dive. Then we do the shrimp thingy, if that's the next one. Yeah, that's on the evening. I think we still have one more dive in this day. Uh, we already had a dive this day. Mm, for this one. Uh, this yeah. is the second one. Yeah, <laughs> we'll have... yeah. The shrimp party will be tonight, so let's catch this last one then. Then we use one of the mirrors to get out. Yep. There we go. Should be mirrors around here. Kikaya. All right. Yep, there it is. Okay, time to head out, and Pizza has a suggestion, Misa and Aleph. Okay. Yep, up to the boats. Oh, so bright. <clears throat> okay, send all of See? those over. Okay. Snow crab row, Nar uh, narwhal's offspring, yeah. Okay. <laughs> da -da, wrap up your day, get back to run and show. Okay. Uh, actually, no, we, we were thinking about doing a night dive, since that's the only time that Hubble squids, uh, Hubble, the Hubble squid spawn. Yeah, so, but I would think... we lose money on that, since... Hmm. Do you remember how much of a pain it is to get a Hubble squid? Good point, yeah. Let, let's just serve whatever we can of the first dish, and we'll fill in with the rest. Yeah. Okay. If we want to have a squid, we should have done it earlier. Yeah, uh, let's see. We can serve five, 35 of these. Okay, it's not that bad all the same. <laughs> this is what we can... We can feed most of our guests with that. And then fill in the rest with this. Okay. Uh, let's see. White leg, shrimp, egg, mayo, and olive oil. So we'll need to send over some eggs, mayo, and olive oil to the branch. So... Uh, uh, yeah, rank normal eggs. So let's send over... Yep. 24. Mayo. Oh, they still have some, it seems. Or they already have Wait. some or some. 
you're selling. No, that, oh, oh, okay, that, okay, yeah, that was dumb. Okay, good thing, good thing they caught that. And at least we still have plenty more. Yeah, I was so, I saw a sailor for the weight. There. Why are you uh, selling it? And why did you get money for the, doing delivery? Okay, well, first, I thought you lost money for doing delivery, but the rest, no. You're selling it. Okay, that was a mistake here. Yeah. Uh, let's see, egg, mayo, and olive oil. Okay. Uh, there, olive oil. Deliver. Send over a few. Okay. Now, let's make sure that they're actually selling those. Or, uh, there. Yes, I mean, uh... <laughs> yep, even there. Okay, menu. Hit wrong button. Okay, yeah, they're serving that. And the blue tang as a side, you know, as side stuff. Okay. Uh, let's see. Can we see how much you can actually make from that, what you have? It should be plenty. But still. Um, so we can change up the the, oh, the inside here a bit. Yeah, let's let's make some changes. Yeah. Yeah, we have more than enough money to screw around with this a bit. There, sashimi. Yeah, uh, <laughs> since it's near that time, might as well. Oriental painting, pot rack, Polaroid photos. Let's do a painting. Then here, a snowman. <laughs> and uh, of course, a <laughs> Christmas tree. <laughs> wait, what game? Time is it in game? Uh, I don't. Uh, Okay. Where do we actually says... uh, Monday? Uh, it's it's Monday in October. No, not October. Uh, it's, I'm blanking on the month, but it's the second to last one before December. Oh well. November. I wonder if they would do something if we were to hit Christmas. But for now, we should be I good here. I'm surprised. All right. And with that, let's open her up. Okay. And if something runs low, we can put on more on the. Yeah, we can put more. Actually, I probably should have left the the cheaper option off the menu and just fill. Yeah, you know, put it on if the main dish started to run low because now the cheaper dish has already run out. But it does mean that only the bigger one is left. Let's see. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, yeah, if, if they sit too long at, an, at a, a dirty spot, they will take off. See? That one didn't leave. Yep, that's the wasabi. Okay, I hope they didn't slow things down too much. That yeah, doesn't look like it. Okay. Any other dirty places to clean? Oh, someone was getting annoyed there, but not too annoyed. Yeah, the, the chefs have no trouble keeping up with it. It's the serving staff that is a real is a bit slow, or rather not slow. Well, they're more the choke point at the moment. But we can upgrade them so they get faster. Yeah. Okay. I should probably train whoever refills the wasabi <laughs> the most. Though I could put it up ourselves. Yep. Yeah. Okay, why did we lose again? Was that the, the branch? Wait, they were. Yep, yeah, the, the characters the, the on the branch. side were shearing? That's the branch that was uh, annoying people. Yeah, we definitely need to put better people there as well. Okay.
And with literally one second yep, there on the timer. <laughs> okay. That. Save. On day 45. Save and exit, just to be extra sure. And yeah, that's where we'll have to call it today. So exit, whilst we move on over here. Okay. Well, don't worry, people. There will be more tomorrow in the afternoon. Yeah. Uh, actually, no. The more, uh, actually, maybe. Yeah, I should. I need to run more tests with Sonic Adventure 2 to see which mods cause problems and which not. So maybe we could put in more Dave the Diver tomorrow evening. Though, so what would we do in the afternoon if we do an afternoon stream? That is. Uh, let's see. Double team? Misa oh, and Aleph. And I, I think Dave twice would be a bit too much. Yeah, so maybe a Fofian is to give it a chance to finish it so we can then start on the weekend with Dredge. <laughs> okay, and let's see. Misa. Misa and Aleph, it says they're playing cryostasis, but they're starting with something else. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see, how are anyone, everyone else we could normally raid? Uh, Dark Knight Luigi with Battlefield 2042. My condolences to them. Overwatch 2 for the King 2. Uh, no games that are really standing out to me, so let's go give Pizza's recommendation a raid, or rather, as we would call it, a pizza delivery. <laughs> so, slash raid, paste. But before we start, of course, uh, let's see, Pizza, I'll stick around for raids. I'd personally like Double Dave. Maybe then. We'll just have to see. For now, yeah, let me check for any lurkers. <laughs> Hello there, Sensei. <clears throat> Okay, you want to say something? Uh, I said, uh, yeah, I don't mind Double Dave either, but uh, I'm not against Apophion as well. So if we get Apophion done, then we can start with Dredge in the weekend. Yeah, the Dredge DLC. Indeed. We'll see if I can if I can find out what mods are being troublesome with Sonic Adventure Two. Uh, or we could just play it without the mods on, because that also worked. It's, it is mostly just patching things up and uh, some cosmetic stuff, so we could just go without the mods. But yeah, we'll see that tomorrow. For now, though, thank you everyone who's watching now or later. Thank you, Pizza. Thank you, Sensei, for lurking. And thank you, as always, Drakir. You're welcome, as always, my friend. And thank you all for joining. Uh, let's see, Pizza. I like the creative names uh, pe uh, people come up with, like Sensai. It's Sensai uh, with an A, so more like, so like those uh, uh, Sensai shows, not Sensei, Sensai. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, thank you all again for watching now or later, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. And I forgot to start the raid early, but oh well. <laughs> Be safe, everyone. Sleep well, and watch out for apparent fish. Yeah. And seagulls. <laughs>